Hello everybody, the Quay the Three here. Uh, today, we're doing a review on the Oscars treasure chest. So this cube I just got for Christmas, actually. As you can tell, it's Christmas. Right there. Um, but, uh, it comes in a box like this, or a bag. It says Mefferts, Puzzles and Games, that's where I got it from. And here it is, right here. So, right out of the box, it just looks like this, uh, Rubik's Cube with fancy sparkly tiles and they're really thick actually they can get a bit annoying but uh, you can just play around with this just like a normal Rubik's Cube and it won't do anything but once and as soon as you solve it like this you see the white side can come off just like that and you can actually put things inside of it uh, it actually came with uh, this little inside this bag came in a little other bag, just a little tiny, and it has this uh, little cube thing in it. It's not actually a puzzle; it won't turn. But uh, yeah, it looks it's really fancy, kind of crystal-like thing. The only thing is, it does have this little like crack thing. I don't know what that's from, but yeah, you can put that inside of here. Let me just bring the camera, and then. That will go back on, and you have to have it completely solved for it to come off, because now it won't come off. It does actually open up a little bit, but since these ones aren't the right pieces, it doesn't come off. And you can see, uh, if we just scramble this up a little bit, there, and now uh, we can't uh, open it at all, and it's actually kind of annoying having something in here. So, the turning on this puzzle, it's actually, I duplicated it with a little bit of uh, like lubricant stuff, I'm not sure exactly what it is. And it seems to turn a lot better now. I just put a little bit inside of the rim once you take it off. That's what other people have done, so uh, I did that. And after working in and breaking it in a little bit, it works pretty well. So I can just do a little solve on this real quick. So we get our cross. I think the, oops, I think the big bulky tiles do mess up your color recognition a little bit. And it's hard, harder to grip it and just harder to turn it because of the mechanism and everything. Because it's actually hollow inside. Uh, it's kind of hard to be doing this while I'm talking, but uh, yeah, it's, I got it for Christmas. And I've barely played with it at all. I just have solved it probably like not even ten times. Oops, wrong actual pair. Uh, as you can tell, uh, I'm probably doing F2L pretty inefficiently, <laughs> and my last layer is kind of messed up, but it works. And as you can see, we've gotten the first two layers done, and as you might expect, it's kind of unfortunate that this happened, but this, these, uh, this layer still isn't solved, but still, it comes off, so... You actually do not have to solve the whole cube to uh, open it up, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, I think other people have moved the side that comes off to the yellow side by taking all the tiles off and putting them back on a different way, but that would just take too long. I'd have to take like four sides off so I could get the uh, color scheme still correct, but yeah. So that can definitely be pretty annoying while you're solving it because the last layer wants to come off as you're doing it. So let me let me just finish this up. And there we go, it's solved again. And as you can see, we can still uh, put stuff in it. You could probably fit a little mini Rubik's Cube in there if you wanted to. Uh, of course, that little cube that came with it, and probably the bag too. <laughs> and yeah, you could... Uh, challenge somebody to solve something so they could get something out of it. And if you have this little thing here, uh, you can actually take these pieces off and you can slide, you have to slide them off from each other because of, wait, let me turn the light on. Just because of how they lock together like that, it's just impossible to take them apart. So they have to be slid apart. And as you can see, if we get this, uh, we have to slide each individual piece apart. And that's just because of how 
the mechanism works and how you have to take it apart. Yep, and here it is, back again. And as you can see, each of the pieces that are not uh, the part that come off, uh, it just has a completely smooth thing right here. It's all in one piece. As you can see, all of these other pe uh, pieces have little uh, bumps and stuff. And each little one, each little bump on here corresponds to the same bump on here. And so that's why you can only open it or close it when it is completely solved. So you see it cannot go on like this or this. It has to go on just like this. And as you can see, if we take it apart further, uh, here is one piece and here is another piece that correspond to each other when they get taken apart. And here are the sides that are not taken off. And this is the side that is. And this is the side that is on this one. And you can see these pieces go together. And so these notches, that one and that one, just slide together perfectly. And that way they can go together. And then once they start turning, they lock together. And they can just be put together with all the rest of the pieces. And as you can see, it is quite a pain to take this apart. You have to take off quite a lot of pieces. So these tiles, as you can see, they are really sparkly. Uh, they see two sides. And these ones are like jeweled kind of ones. And let me just put this into a pattern so it won't come apart. And as you can see, again, it won't come apart. One thing that I was just thinking about is, what if you had the one white center uh, wrong? Because there would be nothing telling it that the white center is wrong, so you could have that. But <laughs> then I realized that you couldn't have the white, white center wrong without having one of these other centers wrong, so yeah. Uh, as for this cube's turning, it's really not the best. <laughs> when I first got it, again, it turned really badly until I lubricated it. And even now, it is still decent. I found some of these sides, like this side, this side turns really, really well. Wow, like this side, way. Yeah, this side has a couple like bumps on it, and if I just take this apart real quick, uh, you can see that some of these pieces actually have a little bit of flash on there, just like that. And so that can probably cause rough turning, so I may actually try and sand those down in the future, but. For now, it should be okay. So I've been wanting to get this cube for quite a while now. Uh, made by Oscar Van Deventer, as you can see. It's Oscar's for the chest, originally called the Gift Cube. Uh, and I've been noticing that it has been going out of stock recently. And uh, my guess is that eventually it's going to go out of stock completely. And, and nobody's going to be able to get one anymore. So if you want this, I recommend try and get it soon. Uh, you can get them on Mefferts, and Amazon used to have them, but I think it's still out of stock there. So yeah, this is the Oscars treasure chest. It's just a, ni it's a nice just cube to have. Uh, it's not really anything to speed cube with or anything. It's just fun to add to your collection, so that's basically it. I'll uh, see you guys later next time. Uh, comment below with any questions or comments or anything. So, goodbye! Thank you.